You know what I'm a big fan of, Paul? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, you for sure. <laughs> huge okay. fan of Paul Poteet. Great. Absolutely. Great. But also a huge fan of the cultural trail. Oh, downtown, yeah. downtown Indy, yeah. Eight miles of it connecting Wholesale District, Mass Avenue, Fountain Square, all of them. And there's a Pacer bike share along the route. Have you heard of it? So it's cultural and physical. Yeah, they're these big yellow bikes, and you're going to learn all about them in this segment. Hi, we're here with Karen Haley from the Indianapolis Cultural Trail, and we're here to talk today about the Indiana Pacers Bike Share. Could you t give us a little information on it? I would love yeah. to. So the Pacers Bike Share Program has 251 bikes and 29 stations all in downtown Indianapolis built along the Indianapolis Cultural Trail. So the Cultural Trail is eight miles, and if you want to ride a bike, you go up to one of the 29 stations, swipe your credit card, answer a few questions, and off you go. Um, you can check the bike into any of the stations. You can check another bike out of any of the stations. And it's just a great way to get around downtown Indianapolis and explore our city. How are the boomers enjoying this experience? They are loving it. Um, so our everybody can ride the bikes. They're designed for 8 to 80. So the seats are adjustable. There's, there's bells. There's three gears. So it's really easy to ride. Um, they're step through. Uh, they're, they've got baskets on them. So we know that we've got a wide variety of people who are using our bikes, men, women. Um, we know we have kids who ride them. We know we've had someone as tall as George Hill ride them. One of the things you had mentioned about the cultural trail is the safety aspect, uh, biking after uh, hours. And maybe tell us about what the hours are where you can use the bike share program. So the bikes are available 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. Um, they're accessible for everyone at all time. And the winter part, you can even ride them. We clear the cultural trail of snow and ice. Um, so for those of you who want to get out and put your coats on, ride in the winter, you can. But for right now, in the spring and summer, the lights come on on the trail as soon as it goes dark. So we've got beautiful gardens. It's very well lit. There's $4 million worth of art that were invested on the cultural oh, trail. So you get a beautiful experience and a new way to see your city. Takes you to neighborhoods, takes you to the top cultural destinations, takes you to Fountain Square, Massachusetts Avenue. It really is the best way to see Indianapolis. The biggest safety concern for most bikers is helmet use. Can you give us your thoughts on helmet use? So helmets are actually not required if you're going to ride a bike in the city of Indianapolis or the state of Indiana. Um, our bikes do meet all of the other requirements. One is to have a noise ringer, so we've got a bell on all of the bikes, and the rest is to have a rear and a front light, and when you start to pedal on these bikes, those lights turn on automatically. So we meet all the safety requirements. So we encourage people, if they want to wear a helmet, bring a helmet. Or there's several bike stores downtown listed on our website if you want to rent one while you're downtown. And I know that you guys are involved in several different programs. You want to hit on maybe the top one, two, or three programs that the community's enjoying just as much as our bike share program. My favorite is our new Indianapolis Cultural Trail food tours. So we have a great food scene in Indianapolis, and most of those restaurants and those hot chefs are located on the Cultural Trail. Awesome. So Indy Cultural Trail food tours gives you a full, delicious meal. Um, you get to try all these great restaurants. You get a, an excellent tour guide, um, and you get to learn about the cultural trail, maybe walk off or bike off some of those calories as you're walking. And we've got different distances, biking, walking, short, long trails. Really, there's something for everyone, and it, it really allows you to experience the great food scene in our city. All right, so uh, Karen, I've checked in downtown. I've got my bike. Tell me a little bit about the nuances of the Bike Share program and how it works once I have my bike. So you check out your bike from a station. Um, you can walk up to a station. You just need an electronic form of payment. You swipe your card, and you pick which bike you want. It starts beeping. You pull out that bike. And then you can go anywhere you want in downtown Indianapolis. And with 29 stations, um, you check your bike into the nearest station when you get to where you're going. So if you wanted to start maybe downtown on Washington Street, mm -hmm. our busiest station is Washington and Meridian, check out that bike right on the Cultural Trail down to Virginia Avenue. We have three stations on Virginia Avenue. Check your bike in. You hear it beep three times. You know it's in. And then go off, have a great lunch. So then it locks it when locks. it beeps. OK, it I It locks. Gotcha. The bikes also have secondary locks. So you can very easily lock these to something else. Um, we do encourage people to lock their bikes in stations because it's just convenient and easy. And Bike Share is like library for bikes. So you have access to all 250 bikes in the system. Um, you have unlimited 30-minute trips for your $8 day pass. It's really a 24-hour pass for $8. Um, and so we want you to ride basically from station to station, or ride until you're right about 30 minutes, check it in, 
um, check it right back out and keep going on your way. So it's a great way to, to be downtown on a bike and not worry about what you do with your bike. We know that it's $8 to rent it for 24 hours. Are there memberships or things like this that people can do so they don't have to necessarily swipe their card every day? So I think it's the best deal in town, yes. but $80 gets you an annual pass. And when you have an annual pass, you get a card and you just go straight to the dock, check it. There's no swiping. It's very convenient. There's also monthly passes that are $15 a month. And again, the passes and the 24-hour access, it gives you unlimited 30-minute trips within that year, that month, or that 24 hours which you purchase the pass. Karin, thank you so much for giving us all this information about the Indiana Pacers Bike Share Program, the Indianapolis Cultural Trail. And we'll look forward to seeing you on the trail. This is Glenn Bill for Boomer TV.